Your story reminds me something. I don't know. Do you know Edgar Casey? He sounds very familiar. Okay. Your story is exactly like his story, except that I don't think you are the sleeping prophet. They called him sleeping prophet. Hmm. So Edgar Casey, as a young as a kid, a young kid, one day they lived, you know, uh, I don't I don't know now. I don't remember where they lived, but uh, one day he was out in the woods playing and suddenly he sees a bright light. He was older than four years old. Uh, he sees a bright light and this bright light, he can't make out what it is. And this voice says, what do you want to do with your life? And Edgar Casey says, I want to help people. As a kid, he's a kid, like seven, eight years old. And, and the, the, the bright light disappears. The next thing is he comes home and he's got a, a, an exam the following day. He's supposed to study American history. And his father is getting him to study. Like he's teaching him and whatever. He says, okay, you read the book, blah, blah. And then finally he says, okay, you read these chapters, I'm going to come back and ask you questions, make sure that you learn. So his father leaves him, he's in front of the fireplace, the fire is going, and he falls asleep on the book, hmm. lying over the book, he falls asleep. And after a while, his father comes back, he says, what happened? You were supposed to study, I was going to ask you questions. And he says, it's okay, ask, ask, uh, ask away. I think I can answer he answers every single question. He hasn't read the book, nothing. He learned, he learned it all. It all came to him. And then he grows up, starting to see an aura around people. And he would immediately be able to say, oh, Mrs. Smith, what's the matter? You are angry today. Who upset you? Or, so, so, oh, you, you're happy today because he would see the aura and to the extent that one day he was in a department store waiting for an elevator and this elevator arrives, the doors open and he sees a bunch of people inside the elevator and he's about to step in, suddenly realizes none of the people had any aura around them. And then he steps back, the elevator doors shut. The next thing is cable snaps, people die. That's crazy. And at that point he realized he had something and what he would do was he would basically go to sleep. And in his sleep, he started, he, he would see visions. And, uh, and those visions would become reality. They call, that's why they called him the sleeping prophet. So people would go to him and say, I've got this problem. What do you, how, can, how do you think I can uh, cure this? He would like lie down, go to sleep. And then he would start to see things. And then he would say, okay, Go, there's a store here and then go there. And there's a crazy stories. Look him up, Edgar Casey, mm. C-A-S-E-Y. It's amazing stories. And, but it all started with him saying as a kid, I want to help people. And he ends up helping people to the extent that doctors couldn't cure or, you know, different situations. And that's what was driving him.